The Grand Cherokee has always been the fancy, capable off-roader from Jeep. But now it's even more fancy with even more capability, and it plugs in too. I'm Chris from Auto Academics, and today we're going to take a look at the totally redesigned Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland 4xE. You knew it wouldn't be long before Jeep got in on electrification, and this particular truck has a plug-in hybrid powertrain, but more on that in a bit. Our tester today is a Velvet Red Pearl Coat 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland 4xE. Standard features include LED headlights, daytime running lights, fog lights, and tail lamps, quadra-lift air suspension with semi-active damping, heated power folding mirrors with integrated turn signals, seven-slot grille with active grille shutters, gloss black roof rails, blue tow hooks, approach-lit door handles and puddle lighting, and hands-free power lift gates. Inside, you'll find a heated leather wrapped steering wheel, heated front seats, heated rear seats, 60-40 split folding rear seat, ambient lighting, all weather floor mats, rain sensing windshield wipers, 10 and a quarter inch digital gauge cluster, driver seat memory, Uconnect 5 nav with 10.1 inch digital touchscreen, type A and C USB ports, 12 volt DC power outlet, 120 volt AC power outlet, voice recognition. Could you please repeat that? Select terrain system, 4G LTE Wi Fi, panoramic sunroof, and 19 speaker 950 watt Macintosh high performance audio system. Safety features include driver and passenger front impact airbags, driver and passenger side impact airbags, overhead airbags. Adaptive cruise with stop and go. Park view rear backup camera. Blind spot warning. Forward collision mitigation. Lane sense lane departure warning with lane keep assist. Hill start assist and hill descent control. Park sense front and rear parking sensors with stop. And rear cross path detection. Now for the options. This vehicle has the Luxury Tech Group 4 that adds 12-way power front seats with perforated capri leather coverings, ventilated front seats, power tilt and telescoping steering column, four-zone climate control, wireless charging pad, passenger seat memory, driver and front passenger massage, manual second row window shades, digital rear view camera, and remote start. The Advanced ProTech Group 3 includes Active Driving Assist System, Head-Up Display, Intersection Collision Assist, Night Vision with Pedestrian and Animal Detection, 360 degree Surround View Camera, Rear Backup Camera Washer, Integrated Off-Road Camera, and Mapping Cluster Display. The Off-Road Group provides Fuel Tank, Underbody, Transfer Case, and Front Suspension Skid Plates. Electronic limited slip differential, 18 inch polished aluminum wheels wrapped in 265 60 series Goodyear Wrangler all terrain adventure tires, and trail rated badging. Individual add ons include the black painted roof for $775, 10 and a quarter inch front passenger interactive display for $1,095, and velvet red pearl coat paint for $395. Total MSRP is $75,305. This Grand Cherokee 4xE is very capable off-road with its quadra-lift suspension that can be raised to provide 11.3 inches of ground clearance. That will also allow for up to 24 inches of water fording capability. And in the odd case that that's not enough, skid plates cover all the important bits, including the batteries. And those batteries are waterproof too. The Quadralift suspension has semi-active damping and can adjust automatically with drive modes or manually via the press of a button. It will also lower automatically when parked to help with entry and exit. Jeep has been known to place a few Easter eggs on their vehicles and here are a couple that we found.
open the power lift gate and you'll find 37.7 cubic feet of cargo volume behind the second row. Fold the 60-40 split rear seats down and you get 70.8 cubic feet in all. There are cargo tie downs, a 12 volt outlet, and the temporary spare and portable charging cable are stored beneath the floor. Providing power for this plug-in is a 2-liter turbocharged inline 4-cylinder engine, 2 electric motors, and 400-volt battery pack that make a total 375 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. It all works together with a Torque Flight 8-speed automatic transmission and 2-speed transfer case that sends power to all four wheels. Max towing is 6,000 pounds. Because this is a PHEV, or plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, you can recharge the batteries in less than 3 hours using a level 2 charger or wait quite a bit longer like I have to using your standard wall outlet. Max regeneration will help keep your batteries charged while driving, and like most EVs, you can program your own charging schedules. A complete charge will net you 25 miles of electric only driving, while reportedly providing 440 miles of total range when combined with a full tank of fuel. E-Select modes include hybrid, electric, and e-save, the last of which can save the battery for later or use the engine to charge it while you drive. Select Terrain allows you to choose between Sport, Auto, Snow, Mud and Sand, or Rock, calibrating power delivery, handling, and safety tech for each scenario, and there's an electronic locking differential too. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 23 MPG combined city and highway, or 56 MPG E. Auto Academics saw 33.3 MPG E during driving on the recommended premium fuel. As you can see, the back seat has good space, although the floor does seem a bit high. That's possibly due to the hybrid batteries located beneath. The door panels look nice, and the quad zone climate control and heated seats are definitely a plus. These seats recline, and there's an AC outlet and plenty of USB ports too. Hop up front and I don't think you'll be disappointed. The steering wheel looks and feels good, as do these seats, and there are literally screens on screens on screens. <laughs> Uconnect 5 works well, but I'm not sure how I feel about that optional passenger display. Looks cool though, and I suppose your passenger can project stuff to it from their phone. I don't have the right cable, so I couldn't try. Finally, the stereo is nice. Macintosh is a high-end audio company, and I believe Jeep is the first to use them in vehicles. As with many Stellantis products, bass is a bit overboosted, but once I dialed it down, like way down, <laughs> things sound pretty good. So now that we've addressed all that, it's time to take it out and see how it drives. When everything is running in full plug-in hybrid mode, this Grand Cherokee 4xe is truly a pleasant drive. The cabin is quiet and the powertrain delivers nice acceleration. The transmission is almost imperceptible and the air suspension is smooth and comfortable. I did notice a few reverberations inside the cabin from some moderate sized road imperfections but that was the only oddity in an otherwise buttoned up cabin. Now, something that we have to remember is that the electric motor contributes to the total power of this truck. So once the batteries are depleted, you're driving solely via a four cylinder engine. And when that happens, things become less peppy and more noisy. Fortunately, you can choose when to use each part of the powertrain. Cruising down the highway, save the battery. Or better yet, charge it while the four-cylinder isn't stressed. 
then go into full electric mode once you get in town. I also like the night vision feature. It's not new as luxury vehicles have had it for a while now, but back then it was more of a gimmick. Now with pedestrian and animal detection, it's very useful, especially on my dark country back roads. After all these years, the Grand Cherokee keeps getting fancier, yet somehow it still remains a legitimate Jeep. So there you have it guys, the totally redesigned Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland 4xE. It has more features, more creature comforts, and more capability. Does it make your list? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris from Auto Academics. Thanks for watching.